Welcome to the second video of Python basic programs. If you want to see entire playlist, on the downside of the video you will have the link. You can click and you can see all the 10 videos together. And you will find the, description, the link of Python and PyCharm that is the editor for Python code in description if you are new for Python. So this program what we are going to do we will take in we will calculate the student percentage average and grade. So this is the very basics to learn programming and in all the programming whenever I have seen this example is very common. So I think it will be very easy for you to understand Python basics using this program. Program number one is already done. You can see the link on the top. All right. So what we are going to do in this program, we will have five different subjects and we will create a list of those five subjects and for and we will loop on that list. For each subject, we have to end user have to enter the marks. So let's say user is a is a clerk or a computer operator in the college. So he will enter the marks every time and and then in the same loop we will keep adding marks in the total. And then we will use Python Python syntaxes to calculate the student percentage and then based on the student percentage we will focus more on the python conditions how to put chained condition so there is a concept in python chained condition all right please hit the like button if you like the content of the video subscribe to the channel for more basics programming videos and advanced programming videos so here i am on my python code editor pycharm so the first thing is that we have to create a list of all the subject so in the first line we have created the list of all the subjects and then let's declare two variables. So we need uh, right now total and max total. So I have initialized two variable in the same line. So this is how in Python you declare two variables in the same line. Okay, so this is also oh, very basics of Python. Now what we will do is we will loop on the list. And each time when we are looping in the list, we will take the input from user here. If you don't understand more on input in the last program we have taken three different inputs from user program number one of basics so we are taking the input from user all the time and this loop will run for five iterations one two three four arts and fifth sports and these total marks so this total will be added always in the marks Sim we simplify the operators so total equals to total plus marks so every time when this loop will come the entered number or whatever user is entering that will be added in the total so once loop is completed for all the subject we just wanted to see the total like how much total has come so here i am printing out of the loop so loop will be till here once loop is over then python compiler or this python program will move on line number seven so let's try this this much first of all before we go ahead, I will enter. I will enter seventy for easy calculation for five subjects. Seventy plus line. We are so now you can notice the loop is going from line number four, five, six again, four, five, six again, four, five, six for five times. So three fifty is the total. So this program is working fine till here. Let's go ahead. Now we wanted to get the percentage first of all. So the mathematical formula for percentage, same thing we are going to use total divided by max total into 100. Alright, so I'll just run and let's see if the perf percentage is coming or not. Again, we will use 80, simple calculation 80, 80, 80, the percentage should come 80 only percentage is 80 now based on this percentage we will calculate the student grade <clears throat> all right so if the percentage is more than 75 then we are giving grade a to the student here is the example of python change comparison so python change comparison is very important and very useful thing to learn for all of you so if percentage is less than 
75 or equal to 75 i think we can use equal only one time so you can change uh, it to here and then you can uh, use it or let's keep it all right then student grade should be b and if percentage is greater than 60 so in other programming languages it will be if percentage is less than 60 and if percentage is less than 75 this is how we will write in other programming languages let's add few more conditions so this is similar to this, this statement you can understand from here you can compare do the comparison how python works and how other how and you can understand from here why python is called less code programming language so if percentage is between 40 to 60 the grade is c if percentage is between 75 till 60 grade is b otherwise student is failed or if there is any problem then there is unexpected input all right So I hope you can see the entire program on your screen right now. You can pause the video, have a look on this program. And I think you have already hit the like button. Let's run this and see. I am giving this student 55 in math. I am giving this student 88 in science. I am giving this student 55 again. Here I am giving the student 90, 90, and in sports 77. Let's see. So his total is 365, percentage is 73, and the grade is B. All right. One more time. So let's see 55 and then 22 this student is 23 student is failed all right so i hope you like this program and it has given you good idea about the Python basics hit the like button that will really that will be really helpful for me also share your feedback in comments subscribe to the channel thank you very much for your time i will see you in the next program